staff of support as they execute their mandate. Speaking after the closure of a three-day wellness workshop in Druiru Prisons, Prison Staff Training College, PS Correctional Services Dr. Salome Biako noted that mental health among the correctional staff is a top priority. Stanley Ligaria now reports. A three-day mental health wellness workshop on staff and inmate well-being was launched at Prison Staff Training College in Ruiru on Wednesday to boost efficiency and performance amongst prison staff. And nobody thinks that our budgets can be considered as a cost of last resort. Are we in agreement with that? Yes. I am discussing this with the top echelon of the State Department. The top echelon. It is you who are decision makers. If you support the three of us, the sky is the limit. Graced by PS State Department Correctional Services Dr. Salome Biko and Commissioner General Prisons Brigadier Retired John Warioba, the workshop presented first-hand information obtained from police officers through their regional and national senior leadership of correctional services on wellness to help realize emerging issues as well as matters related to probationers and aftercare services. We were able to look at the state of mental wellness within the facilities that we have. Uh, and, and, and Madam Pierce, uh, that's when you mentioned the idea of this workshop, uh, that we need to look at what we discussed then and act, put them into action. He told us that uh, mental wellness has several dimensions. There is occupational, there is financial, and you assist me when I forget one. There is emotional, there is um, spiritual, there is financial, there is uh, intellectual, social, environmental. And he also told us that uh, we have to have a roadmap to wellness. Brigadier Werioba reiterated the importance of the workshop as he called on the implementers to ensure the issues raised are realized. For the commitment and the support to build capacity of the department in addressing mental health cases. I wish to convey my special thanks and appreciation to the Bureau of International Narcotics and Law Enforcement Affairs, U.S. Embassy in Nairobi, for your continued support and for organizing this workshop to support the senior managers of the Department of Correctional Services in addressing the challenges of mental health. The workshop organized by the Bureau of Narcotics and Law Enforcement Affairs International in conjunction with the State Department for Correctional Services intends to achieve well-being amongst the prison staff. Being here and participating and supporting this workshop in the, my career, as again, it's a great honor to be able to, to share with fellow correctional professionals um, and share with each other each other's knowledge in these types of issues. I know this is not easy for Richard because he literally does cover half of the world. So I'm really grateful and thankful that he, he was able to make some time to come to Kenya for us. Um, two days is super fast, but it went by really well. And I'm so glad everyone was so productive and engaging. So I want to also thank you all for giving you 100 percent in this workshop therefore in the event that the, that the commissioner general is developing some mental problems <laughs> they, they will come to my aid they will use the knowledge that they will have gained from this workshop to attend to me that is my happiness stanley lugaria look up tv nairobi